Ever pondered what shaped the economic landscape of the United Kingdom? The tale of this island nation's economy is a riveting saga of transformation from an agrarian society to an industrial powerhouse and eventually to a leading player in the global financial market. This journey, spanning centuries, is peppered with periods of rapid growth, stagnation, and even decline, reflecting the dynamic nature of economies and the myriad factors that influence them. Understanding the economic history of the United Kingdom not only provides a context for its present economic status, but also offers valuable insights into the principles and patterns that govern economic development and change. So strap in as we rewind the clock and explore the key milestones and trends that have defined the UK's economic narrative. Let's dive into this fascinating journey, starting from the pre-industrial revolution era. Imagine an economy primarily agrarian supplemented by cottage industries. That was the reality of the United Kingdom before the 18th century. Farming and small-scale manufacturing were the main economic activities, with trade and commerce playing a modest role. Economic activities were largely localized and the concept of GDP as we know it today didn't exist. Then came the dawn of the Industrial Revolution in the 18th century, a transformative period that forever altered the economic landscape. The advent of mechanized production methods led to a surge in manufacturing, a sector that rapidly became the engine of the UK's economy. Trade flourished, and cities burgeoned as people flocked from the countryside to work in factories and mills. This transformation marked the beginning of an economic expansion that would lead the UK to become a global power. The Industrial Revolution set the stage for the UK's economic dominance in the centuries that followed. A fascinating journey that we will continue to explore. A time when the United Kingdom, the cradle of the Industrial Revolution, stood as the world's leading industrial and commercial power. The 19th century was a period of unprecedented prosperity for the UK. The country's GDP growth accelerated, averaging around 1 to 2 percent annually. This was the era of steam and steel, of railways and factories, of wealth and innovation. As the century turned, the UK found itself at the pinnacle of global economic power. By the end of the 19th century, the UK's GDP was one of the highest in the world, and the nation was enjoying the fruits of its industrial labor. However, as we move into the early 20th century, the UK would face some of its biggest challenges yet. The first two decades brought about the horrors of World War I, a conflict that consumed resources, manpower, and economic stability. The war had a profound impact on the UK's economy, causing GDP growth to slow intermittently, with negative growth during recessionary periods. In the aftermath of the war, the UK had to rebuild, not just its infrastructure but its economy. The 1920s were a time of recovery, but also uncertainty. This period was marked by a brief economic boom followed by the onset of the Great Depression in the late 1920s and the 1930s. The global economic downturn had a significant impact on the UK, leading to high unemployment rates and widespread poverty. The UK, however, was not a nation to be easily defeated. Despite these economic obstacles, the country managed to weather the storm. It stood its ground, implementing policies to stimulate growth and manage economic downturns. By the end of the early 20th century, the UK was once again showing signs of economic resilience. It was a period of transition, of overcoming adversity, and of preparing for the challenges of the future. Despite these challenges, the United Kingdom persevered, setting the stage for the post-war economic boom. The 19th century and early 20th century were defining periods in the UK's economic history, periods that shaped the nation's economic trajectory for the decades to come. Rising from the ashes of World War II, the UK geared up for a period of rapid economic growth. The nation, determined to rebuild, embarked on an ambitious plan of post-war reconstruction, setting the stage for the economic phenomenon known as the post-war economic boom. This era, stretching from the late 1940s into the 1960s, marked a significant shift in the UK's economic trajectory. Government-led reconstruction efforts catalyzed a surge in economic activity, stimulating industries, creating job opportunities, and fostering a renewed sense of national optimism. The GDP, a key indicator of economic health, saw a steady increase during this period. This growth was powered by a robust manufacturing sector, which not only helped to rebuild the war-torn nation, but also shaped it as a global industrial powerhouse. But it wasn't just about large-scale industries. 
The 1950s and 1960s also witnessed a significant expansion of consumer industries. The rise of the middle class, combined with increased disposable income and a culture of consumerism, fueled demand for a wide range of goods and services. From household appliances and cars to fashion and entertainment, the nation was consuming more than ever, driving further economic growth. Innovation played a crucial role too. The post-war years saw remarkable advancements in technology, medicine, and science contributing to an improved standard of living and a more efficient economy. This period of prosperity, however, wasn't destined to last forever. The tail end of the 1960s signaled the onset of economic challenges that would test the resilience of the UK's economy. In the face of these impending challenges, the UK held strong, its economy demonstrating an enduring capacity to adapt and evolve. Yet the journey wasn't smooth and the nation had to navigate through periods of economic turbulence and transformation. However, the prosperous times were soon to face significant economic challenges. The 70s and 80s brought high inflation, rising unemployment and industrial disputes, but also saw the advent of neoliberal economic policies. Ah, the 1970s. It was a time of disco, bell-bottoms and economic turbulence. The UK faced a concoction of challenges, including high inflation, soaring unemployment, and a series of industrial disputes that turned the decade into a roller coaster ride for the economy. The GDP growth rate slowed, and the country experienced periods of economic stagnation. It was a decade that tested the resilience of the UK's economic structure and left an indelible mark on its history. And then came the 1980s, often referred to as the Thatcher era named after the UK's first female prime minister, Margaret Thatcher. This was a time of profound transformation. Thatcher's government introduced neoliberal economic policies that prioritized privatization, deregulation, and a reduced role for the state in the economy. These policies aimed to stimulate economic growth, and they did. The GDP growth rate picked up, but this wasn't without its consequences. The Thatcher era was also characterized by increased income inequality and a shift away from industrial sectors, a process known as deindustrialization. As we moved into the 1990s, the UK experienced moderate economic growth, fueled by the burgeoning sectors of financial services and technology. The GDP growth rate averaged around 2 to 3% annually. It was a decade of relative stability, with the economy finding its footing after the tumultuous previous decades. However, the 90s were not without their share of challenges. The early part of the decade was marked by a recession, and the late 90s saw the Asian financial crisis ripple through the global economy. Yet, the UK weathered these storms, demonstrating the resilience and adaptability of its economic structure. These decades were marked by significant socio-economic changes, setting the stage for the new millennium. The 70s, 80s, and 90s were decades of transformation, challenge, and growth, shaping the UK's economy for the challenges and opportunities of the 21st century. The dawn of the new millennium brought its own set of economic challenges and opportunities. As the calendar flipped to the year 2000, the UK, like the rest of the world, was gripped by the dot-com bubble. This period of excessive speculation in internet-related companies led to a sharp boom and bust in the stock market, sending ripples throughout the economy. Just as recovery seemed in sight, the UK was hit by another economic shockwave. The global financial crisis of 2008. This was, without a doubt, the most severe economic crisis since the Great Depression. Banks collapsed, unemployment soared, and the UK's GDP contracted sharply. The government responded with significant fiscal stimulus and monetary easing, but the recovery was slow and painstaking. The 2010s were marked by this slow recovery, with growth remaining subdued for much of the decade. The economy was further rattled by the Brexit referendum in 2016. The decision to leave the European Union introduced a new level of uncertainty, affecting investment, trade, and economic growth. As we entered the 2020s, a new challenge loomed large, the COVID-19 pandemic. The virus brought the world to a standstill, and the UK was no exception. The economy contracted sharply as lockdowns were enforced and businesses closed. Yet amidst the adversity, there was resilience. The government's swift response, along with the rollout of vaccines, helped the economy bounce back, albeit with ongoing challenges. Today, the UK's GDP stands at around $3.07 trillion. Growth rates have been volatile due to the pandemic disruptions, but the economy is gradually recovering. 
the per capita GDP is approximately $45,850. And so, as we stand in the present moment, we see a UK economy that has weathered storms and seized opportunities, that has transformed and evolved, shaped by both triumphs and trials. Today, the UK's economic history continues to unfold, influenced by myriad factors, both domestic and global. And